the 40s are to be offered preferentially an alternative to the Oxford AstraZeneca uh, COVID uh, vaccine. The JCVI saying there is an extremely small risk of people suffering blood clots after having that AstraZeneca jab. Uh, but the risk of serious illness with COVID also drops for younger people as infection rates fall across the country. You're watching BBC News. Back now to Elections 2021. It is midday uh, here on BBC News and welcome if you're just joining us here at the uh, election centre. Um, we are having a joint centre uh, between London and Edinburgh today. Last year's local elections, which we're covering, uh, were cancelled uh, because of the COVID pandemic. So this year, uh, we have a bumper crop of results. New parliaments being elected in Scotland and Wales. Thousands of council seats being contested across England. And of course, uh, just as we've been discussing the Hartlepool by-election, which ended with a big victory for the Conservatives, they won by nearly 7,000 votes. A uh, big loss for Labour and for the leader, Sir Keir Starmer, in a seat the party held since the 1960s. But the result in Scotland could be more problematic for Boris Johnson. If the Scottish National Party wins an overall majority here at Holyrood, it will push hard for a second referendum on independence. Well, counting is well underway from Shetland to the Scottish borders. And the all-important first results are expected very soon in what could be the most important election here since devolution. We are also keeping an eagle eye on things in Wales. Uh, and on elections to the Welsh Parliament, the Senate, where Labour's long grip on power over 20 years is being challenged by the Conservatives and by Plaid Cymru. And uh, we're still watching, of course, the uh, English Council elections, uh, where Rita and uh, the touchscreen are showing us exactly what's going on. These are some of the latest results, and they are showing a marked move from Labour to the Conservatives particularly in leave voting areas. Uh, I'll be bringing you the results as they come in and showing you the figures behind the results using this giant touchscreen and doing so in all seven of the elections we've got underway in Britain. Yes, Rita, thanks. We've got a very big team of correspondents at all the key contests and they'll be updating us. Uh, Vicky Young will be with us, uh, our deputy political editor, with latest reaction from Westminster. And we wouldn't be complete, clearly, without Sir John Curtis, uh, who's uh, going through all the data for us and will give us his expert analysis of uh, what's going on and, indeed, what to look out for. So, it's all to play for. The campaigns were bitterly fought and there is a huge amount at stake. So, stay with us for all the excitement and drama of this year's election results on the BBC. Yes, welcome back. Kirsty and I will be taking you through uh, the events of the afternoon, obviously. Thanks for joining us. If you've just joined us here for our uh, special election coverage across England, across Scotland, across Wales, I'm bound to pick up, Kirsty, on that fascinating interview with Lord Mandelson, who, of course, knows the Labour Party inside out. He knows politics and strategy inside out. Uh, and, of course, he has been an MP for Hartlepool, so he knows that area inside out. He was suggesting very plainly that uh, there are still major lessons to be learned for Labour in areas like the northeast of England. 